I feel you, man. I have to start wearing me some Nikes out here. Get some air. I forgot my magnets today. Some magnets? Yeah, I got a magnet. Bro, I was into that shit for a minute. That shit works. That shit works. You got to keep, you got to stay consistent, though. I'm fucking think you put it weird one day. I'm, well, I'm good next day. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do it. <laughs> right, right. I'm going I'm to eat this. They get, get healthy. They eat that salad that one day. One day. They got the biggest salad in the world, right, boy. Right. Had a, took a shit and think they clean. <laughs> <laughs> or Jay got exercise one day. Right, right, right. One day. It is hard to stay consistent, man. Yeah, it's all mental. I mean, like it's lifting weights. I got Sometimes I got to force myself to do it. Yeah, it's all mental. Once you yeah. get past the mental, everything's easy, man. Mental is the battle. That's the war, man. What Ephesians? Ephesians. Two and six. Okay, back to the. Uh... They're about doing it again. Are they about fires or shit? Yeah, they look like they sure are. Oh, yeah, they probably just sent him home. Yeah. You go fire that son of a bitch up. What's up, girl? I'm not in Wales. Nah, you good. Um, oh, right there. I'm gonna get it. Oh, they go Method Man. <laughs> Don't they look like Method Man? <laughs> right, right. The trunk and feather man. That's some funny shit. Is he loading it or is he cleaning it? He loading it. I hope he's loading it. What the it hell? Like he's loading it because he was stuffing that thing in it. Man, he's, this dude is so old, he's gonna take all day to load that. The noise that people are getting used to, they better get used to it. This is good practice for the people's ears to get used to these missiles and bombs going off. Man, if an old man, uh, Williams or old man, what's his name? Hope it malfunction and blow up with the <laughs> Oh, old Billy Buford. Billy Buford. With a blue. <laughs> if somebody's arm flew over here laying in front of us. <laughs> right, right. That will be beautiful, man. Because these people are proud, man. They love America, man. It'd be like on the cartoons, the shit don't fire. He sticks his head in to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> With a Yosemite Sam and shit. Hey, y'all seen that racist ass uh, Bugs Bunny cartoon? Which one? The one where Bugs Bunny was is in the Civil War, and he's like, yeah, "Massa, Massa, please don't hit me, Massa." Right, right. I've seen that. That shit was in an actual cartoon. Popular too. Real popular. I hope anything just clean it. No, I don't know. They looking serious. They don't take that damn many people to clean it. <laughs> no, I just think he stuck something else in there. Oh, oh, he cleaning it. Oh, fuck. You fucking faggots. You're gay. He's spraying water in there. They just made us ruin all that just for that. I'm sorry, I got a good explosion on the... Fr I started the video off with a... Uh, I got it all on camera. Yeah, one, most I say one's enough for y'all. Yeah, spoiled one. I spoiled y'all now. What's that? Oh, you want to do this? What are you talking about? Some chips? I'm good. I'll just wait. I ain't really hungry. I just ate a bunch of... I just had some bananas. Alright, that's cool. Here we go. First 10. What's up, man? Got it. Verse 10. Thou hast said none sees me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it have perverted thee. Oh, uh, that's going back to their witchcrafts and their secrets. That, that's why it's called a secret society. You know what I'm saying? They think nobody can see them. They think they can stay in secret. That's right, that's right. You know? But that's just some serious, I mean, you can't overemphasize that shit because when you go to these colleges, Motherfuckers, whole careers and everything. You can't do shit in this world, really, if you don't go to college, supposedly. But you go down to them campuses, what's the first thing you see? Some goddamn frat houses. And you know the president of the college, the fucking headmaster, whoever they call it. The, uh, everybody's part of the fraternities. The football coach is part of the fraternity. The players is part of it. You got the nerve to call it your big brother. Yeah, they call it big brother. Yeah, big brother. Your big brother. Your big brother, you mean they got to suck his balls and everything, man. 
Damn. That's some foul shit. Oh, I see. They got some TV show. I seen a preview. I was watching the playoffs yesterday, and there was a uh, some TV show when it showed that no, it was a movie, a new movie about some famous comedian. I don't know all the actresses' names. But there's some movie coming out about some old bitch going into a sorority, and it showed them doing like lesbian shit in the commercial. What's up, man? You know? Where you from, man? Lost. That's a Jake, man. Yeah, he said. That's yeah. a Jake. He's one of us, man. Yep. <laughs> he says he's a louse. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Hey, bro, I, w I went to school. Uh, well, I went to high school, middle school with a bunch of Laotians and uh, Cambodians. Mm -hmm. It was cool as hell, bro. Yeah, they came. They it do. They came to school with the Flyers rise. Always had the Jordans on everything. Damn. Let me try to think of the name. What it was? What? It was Cambodia. Remember oh, Cambodia. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've they, been. Hey, they get fucked up. They uh, cause my dude, I work with. He said his dad went because they have like the villages and shit. Yeah. They uh, go through that shit and like, because you know, we got like air ISIS and shit. They got like uh, military groups down there or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that shit crazy they, like, down there. Taking over shit. That's some Jake. I've been down there. That motherfucker be up by our crib, man. The Christian Crusader, oh, man. Oh, that faggot. Yeah, he be up by our crib around some, look like some girl by that. These guys like swear. Bullshit. What's that? Why do you guys always swear at me? What do you mean? Did, I, did somebody swear at you? Oh, you guys swore to me before, yeah. Oh, we have? Yeah. What we say to you? Called me a faggot. Did it hurt your feelings? No, I'm just curious. What's the word faggot mean? What? I assume, by the way, you meant to invent a gay person. What does the word faggot mean? That's all I know what it means. No, faggot. Faggot. Yeah, the word, it does have a meaning, though. What does the word faggot mean? That's a good point, though, because if we use words, we got to know the meaning of the word, right? Right. So I was wondering, like, you guys are representing God while you swear at people. The word, hold up now. I didn't say I swear. A faggot, like he said, the word faggot means a bundle of sticks. I get a John 15. Uh, you know what I want? Yeah. We out We actually do use that word. That's a we use that word quite frequently. That's a one of our go to gonna, go to we words. Right, we gonna, we gonna disrespect somebody unless they right. us that same way. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I was just walking by. No, nah, we don't talk to people like that just walking by. It you wasn't know? I don't think it was you. Right. Oh, it wasn't us then. No, I think it was you. It was I me. Even out here without him. I just called you a faggot just out of nowhere just for no reason. Nowhere. A couple of weeks ago. No, just for no reason. Sound like him. You probably said it in general. Probably right, you probably thought he was talking to you, but he right. Yeah, you might have thought I was talking to right. you. I don't just say shit like that to people for no reason. Well, you was, you, was you hating? We do hate. Was you scoffing? Was you coming up talking shit? No, yeah, man. Then why would I do that? I don't know, but you guys use a lot of coarse language. Well, let me read the scripture. Go, Go ahead. ahead. A lot of what? Coarse language. So it offends you? No, I'm curious. I'm you curious as, as people who represent God, why you use such coarse language. Dude, God flooded the whole earth. <laughs> you think he cares about little cuss words? Yeah, that's true though. He, he killed everybody. Yes, it is. That's a damn most good high reputation. Is serious. But the Most High just yeah. straight kill whole families. He he genocided the whole planet. But most you're, high if you're representing no, God. Shouldn't you come with grace? Let me read that. Let me read that. No, like Peter you. says. Yeah, and Peter also said that he left Sodom and Gomorrah as an example oh, for those that lived ungodly. I was understanding. But you just quoted Peter though. You right. quoted Pete. Peter quote it said the Sodom and Gomorrah. What's a sodomite? It's a faggot. Same thing, synonymous. So you do use the word faggot that way. I right. just told you that. Okay. But it's a sodomite. What's a sodomite? It's somebody what what happened to the sodomites? They got burned up. What's a faggot? A fag is that something you light a fire with. Okay. Same thing, bro. Right. It's all consistency. But I, I don't think you're understanding my question. Okay, but listen. Let me read the scripture real quick, then, okay. to see if you can understand this. Okay. Okay. Well, it's a simple. This is 2 Corinthians 11 and 6. It says, But though I be rude in speech, uh -huh. yet not in knowledge. So we do come off rude. Personally, I like to come off rude because how the people, it's how most, some, most people relate. You know okay. what I'm saying? So if you got something, go ahead. You understand that, though, right? I understand, but then the who was who was who was Romans? Who was who wrote Corinthians? Paul did. Okay, then. Was Paul a man of the Lord? Absolutely. There you go. Well, what about what Peter says in Peter 3.15, 1 Peter 3.15 says to always have a case ready for your salvation, he says, but always with reverence and gentleness. Yeah, it's time, it's, it's good to say there's a time for everything. We're being, it's we're it's being gentle time. with you right now, aren't we? Suppose so. I don't know. Well, there you go. Come hey, on, you, bro. You suppose so, man. Hey, you, hey, Come when, on. When, when, when the Lord wants to. You're being deceiving right now, man. You've been. I'm being what? You're deceitful. 
in your speech. Why don't you ask a poll? So you right here standing with us. You ain't here is cursing nobody out. Everyone that's raising your voice. Well, you so you can hear me. So you can understand me. You bringing up charges against us? Speaking like a man. This is how men speak, man. This is how real. I'm, let me correct myself. This is how real men speak. So you've implied that I'm not a real man. Well, well if you're not out here doing the Lord's work, then you're not. I do oh, the Lord's work every got day, it. Man. You do what? I do the Lord's work every day. Huh. I look out for my neighbor. I'm kind to others. Name, I raise a family. Everyone. You know, everybody's not your neighbor. Everybody's no, my neighbor. Matthew 22. No, no. Oh, get that. Just read that. Everybody's your neighbor. Jesus. No, everybody is no, not your neighbor. No, no, everybody's not your neighbor. You say you have enemies. Yet. Not everyone's not your neighbor. That's why if I go to your neighborhood, they're going to pull me over. Second, what you doing out second here? John uh, two, uh, second John 2. Second John 6. I don't no, belong John. in their eyes, in your eyes, people in the suburbs, like, yeah. like a double. Oh, I got my Bible out. Worthy. Right. Second John. What you doing out here? I'm obviously out of place. I already know that. I don't go there anyway. Why are you out of place? I don't get it. Because they, man, come on, man. You're trying to say they don't police the neighborhoods, man. Of course they do. Man, it's all kind of, every day. Man, how many times? I'm, I'm 51 Ten. years old, man. You know how many times I've been pulled over just going through the suburbs but for nothing? You've not been to my neighborhood. You're making an accusation about my neighbor. Well, I'm not going to ask you. Hey, well, let us, I want his brother to read a scripture for you real quick. 2 John 1 and 10. That is the second John. What, what book is that? It's the Bible, right? Yeah. Okay, just check it. It says, if there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine. If there come any unto you, if any person come unto us, and bring not this doctrine, this teaching. Go ahead. Okay. Receive him not into your house. Receive him not into your house. Continue. Neither bid him Godspeed. Neither bid him Godspeed. I say God bless you, brother. My neighbor. For, yeah. For he that biddeth him Godspeed is partaker of his evil deeds. Right. So somebody's not in the same spirit as us. And we're talking about, oh, we're still brothers. Get, oh, uh, agree to disagree. We're going against the ordinance. That's right. We're so going we're up. all neighbors then, right? You can't discern whether that person you're speaking of is a fellow believer unless you talk to them. We well, talk, you're you're true, making true, it sound like true. you good. just see somebody on the yeah. street and, oh, I can't be my neighbor. You're not in the video. You, you, you want to be in that video, don't you? <laughs> you think you're a superstar, don't you? <laughs> we can tell through the spirit. I'm about, about the way the person walks, the way the person talks, we can tell. Okay, that dude's obviously a fact. You know what I'm saying? Because, you can tell. Yeah, I mean, uh, how did the fact is one? Hey, give me, uh, Isaiah, I, I, yeah, okay, What's okay. that one about, hold on, you can tell, you can tell, you can tell Come on, they're bro. faithful to their wives. Now, let me ask you a question, brother. And if you're a servant of the Lord, wouldn't that the Lord give you spiritual gifts, right? Of course. He's give you, he gives you the spirit to discern, to discern spirits. Mm -hmm. it, it tells you that in the book of John. It says you some brothers have different gifts. Some brothers have the gift of discerning spirits. Some have prophecy. Right. Some have teaching. There you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There yeah. you go. This is Isaiah 3 and 9. The show of their countenance doth witness against them. What, what's somebody's countenance? That's their face, the look about right. it. Because everybody gives off an aura. Everybody has a different aura or a vibration coming off of You know, every day again. So can the you show if I've cheated on my wife? Well, we can just tell. You can get, you get bad feelings around bad people. That's all I'm saying. Go. go ahead. You don't so, think that that's ever some kind of demonic influence? You don't think that it's just... Yeah, that's definitely demons. The people got okay. demons on them. So, so you can feel... Yeah, I can see the demons. You can see demons? Yeah. Where am yeah. I? Oh, well, you got... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, they, 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 Asmodeus. They, 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 yeah, ass... <laughs> He got Asmodeus, Legion. <laughs> right, right. He right, got all right, them ancient right, demons, right, boy. It's like Mumra, right, like on the Thundercats, boy. Right. It says very clearly that our, our in Ephesians that our fight is not with flesh and blood, but with spiritual. Forces. Oh, we know this very well. So then, how can you go and judge somebody so quickly? You're reading things so out of context. Just because you read a line, you have to put it in context. You're right. You're right. Coverage is free. But you don't answer my. You don't answer when I bring I'm about to answer. I'm about to answer you right with the scriptures. About a few. Until we're hitting buttons. So you gonna you gonna upload it to the YouTube channel? Same thing said in the book of Isaiah. A man may be known by his look, and one that have understanding by his countenance. So we can tell, okay, this man, he got wisdom because I can tell by his confidence. I can tell you like this because the way you look. It says, when thou meetest him, a man's attire, his clothing, and excessive laughter and gait, which means his walk, show what he is. I mean, so the same time. So what does that say about me? So, I just told you. We can just tell about so, so if you got a woman walking down the street, titties hanging out, I mean, if she dressed like a prostitute, she's a prostitute. So somebody looks like a faggot, he's a faggot. 
I mean, if it looks like a duck, if it quacks, it's a duck. You know what I mean? There's no hope for these people. Uh, I didn't say there was no hope for nobody. No, no hope from you guys. That ain't got nothing to do with us. You got hope from the Lord, man. All we out here to send, send the message. I mean, Jesus rubs shoulders with these people that you're speaking to. Yeah, so that's why we're out here. We're actually out here. But if you call somebody a faggot, don't you think that's rubbing them the wrong way? So is the Lord called people fools. He called them faggots. He told, he told people. He, he said Herod was a fox. He called people names all the time. He called. He did call a woman a dog, which is a bitch. Yes, he did. No, she said that actually, bro. No, he did. He might have. Well, look up. He called people names. And he told people they. The Lord told. Listen. The Lord told people that they were going. To burn in the fire. Yes. And you're worried about being caught. And what's a faggot? I'm just asking. What's I'm a fox? Ask, I'm not arguing. If yeah, you call somebody a fox, what, you, what does that mean? You call somebody a fox. Usually I've heard it's that. It's like a sly devil, like you tricky motherfucker. That's I've used it so like, to a good looking woman as a fox. No, Foxy call, lady. Call, like, call, like, Where you fox, right? like, so that means you like, you pretty much a sticky, sly, and little devil. Well, you yeah, I've never used fox that way. But I did. The Lord called people bastards. Paul said bastard too. Hey, Paul said the word shit. He said skybalon in Greek. <laughs> skybalon? He said shit. <laughs> what I'm, I think you're missing my point. I, know, right here. I think you've been missing my point. I think you I missed our point. Yeah, you missed our no, point. No, I understand. I think you point. missed the whole point. Beautiful. That's why I'm glad it's beautiful. Man. It's truthful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. But don't you, don't you feel that you're really putting people off by the language you're using? It doesn't matter. Look, we don't care. Though. We don't care. God cares. Can no, I say no, horror? Show me. Prove it in the scripture. God cares about all people. Oh, Lord. The Lord said, uh, many are called, but few are chosen. So he said that the, the love, love of many shall wax cold. I mean, we could go on day. That's true. Well, this is not a numbers that, game. The Lord is not saving multitudes. The Lord, the Lord, bro, I'll go in a battle. Just me, just us three against a million. If the Lord is with us, we're unstoppable. I, I agree with that. See that? But God does care about all people. Here you go. This is Amos 3 and 2. Yeah, he cares about him so much he's going to destroy him. And then to make right. everything anew. Uh, it doesn't destroy people. They choose to destroy Have themselves. You well, listen, man, listen. Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Children of Israel. Because that's the Lord's chosen people, yes. the Israelites. Listen. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known Who? of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Lord only chose Israel. So the Lord's chosen people are the Israelites. So he doesn't, he doesn't, it's not for everybody. We're not even caring so about everybody. all the 25,000 ethnicities of people that have been created. Where is that? What scripture is that? No, that's, that's, a, that's a statistical fact. It's no, not in Genesis no, no, 10. No, no, no I'm, I, I haven't gotten to my question yet. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's because you, you, you were wrong from the beginning. Yeah, yeah you were wrong. There's not been 25,000 <laughs> no, ethnicities. No, no, no. Show me in the scriptures. No, no, I'm talking about different people groups. Ethnicities. Ethnicity so comes from the Greek. Ethnicity means nation. Yes. Nationalities. It means nation. Nationalities, no. So from all of these, they're all of them are doomed with the exception of one. Is, really, really, doomed? Isaiah we didn't say they were doomed. There's only one nation is doomed. <laughs> okay, only one nation is totally doomed. One. One. Okay. And that's that's a nation. Edomites. That's a day Edomites. Edomites. Okay, so Red none of them can go to heaven except for the one. Wait, well, this is, this is their heaven. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to heaven. The kingdom of heaven is the new Jerusalem. It's right. not. It's not the new Moab. No, it's no. not the new Egypt. It's not. Give me another heathen name. It's not the Damn. new Philistine. The Philistine. It's Ishmael. not the new. It's not the new Bab. The new Babylon. Oh, this is the new Babylon right here. Yes, I got preaching. Go ahead. This, uh, this, this, how this showing the Lord don't care about the heathen. Not one. Isaiah 40 and uh, 14, 13, 15. So like, behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. <laughs> Behold, he have taken up the isos as a very little thing. And Lebion is not sufficient to burn, nor the breach thereof sufficient for a burnt sacrifice and offering. All nations before him are as nothing. They are counted to him less than nothing. Less than nothing. Vanity. Nothing. So Spit. that Spit. Has, has happened after these nations chose this to not go God's current. ways. That's current. No, the Isaiah was written many, many years ago. But it's still current. The Lord, the scripture says, I change not. I change not. I change not. Therefore, right. the sons of Jacob and were not when consumed. that was written, God certainly had a 
a lot of the bad things to say about many of the nations so, at the time so because of the choices still they had made. And he still does because of the choices they had so made. So you tell me, so you tell me the Lord just nobody say, has a choice. Give my promise to Israel. I'm just gonna no, I, no, I think so he's, he's a liar now. I didn't call that God a liar. No, I'm supposed, I'm supposed to ask you so he changes because he said he made a promise to Israel twice, uh -huh. the first and the second covenant. Not and the, it's also in Romans. Not just not the first. What was the second covenant made for? Like I just said, for the whole house of Israel. Should we okay, say? Okay, so I what is, what I'm not arguing just, against that. Then, then the Lord said, "This is the this." The, is the what? Hold up. Can I, can I say something? He real just quick? admitted it. Can I say something real quick. So you do all make sense. Real quick. Then the Lord said, "This is the blood of the New Testament." What's the word "testament" means? Covenant. So the new covenant was made for who? Israel. So the Lord died for who? Israel. And everybody Absolutely. else that put that you know, puts faith you in Jesus. You know everybody else. Bro, you just, you just, so how does when Jesus says go and make it, then go? I did just admit it, but that doesn't mean it's all inclusive. But it's not mutually exclusive. Back up, back up. Let me say it one more time. One more time. He said, can you agree? The new covenant, new covenant, the new testament was made for Israel, right? Absolutely. So the Lord said, This is my blood was shed for the new testament. Mm. Hey, Who's the New Testament for? James 1 and 1. For Israel mm. and everybody James else. 1 and 1. Did the Lord die for Israel? Yeah, you know. So of course. I know there's so many. <laughs> you only got so many fingers. I did not because that doesn't mean that he didn't die for other people too. Well, let me, let me get a note. Hey, you know what? You're going to quote the Bible. You really don't know what you're talking about. You do this is so there's something known. called, uh, really the, it's a mystery. Yeah. It's been hidden for ages. Right. Psalms 149. What, the mystery is, what is the mystery? The mystery is now that the... Jesus' gift is available to everybody. They he never said, said, said there's no scripture that says Psalms, this. It does. Psalms like 147. Oh no, wait, oh yeah, we'll let you get Psalms it. Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. That's Psalms 147, verse 19. Listen. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. To Israel. Verse 20. He hath not dealt so with any nation. Woo. Yes. And, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. And that's Praise and, you, and that's Lord. why the Lord in Matthew 15 and 24 said. I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Oh my God. He said that, bro. I mean, I'm not making that up. Then this, this, how this is the does, this is, this is, this we're about to, we're gonna explain it to you. How does he? Then how do you justify when Jesus says, "Go and make disciples of all nations"? Because Israel means ethnic groups. Because Israel is scattered among all ethnic but groups. But doesn't say find the Israelites and make disciples of them. He says nations. No, it groups. actually does say exactly what's say the, that. What's the mystery? Of it does say that. James, the James one and one. That's yeah. been hidden for ages. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus is the mystery. But that's so easy, bro. Everybody knows. That's that. not that's a not mystery. Not everybody knows that. You know. You, you go to church. Than and that's not the mystery. To everybody. Is there all He's got the James one. What you got? So can, I, can I get Romans nine? Because this, this explains everything. Romans nine and four. You say he died for everybody. Who are Israelites? No, it started at the top. I before said, that. I say. Yeah. Say that one. Yeah, I say that. I say the truth in y'all shy with well, Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost. Okay, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from the Messiah for my brethren. My kinsmen according to the flesh. He said, I wish myself were. This is Paul said, from my kinsmen according to the flesh. Ooh, That's talking about it. But listen, but listen. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? To whom pertain the adoption? To whom pertain the adoption? Now, now, no, no, no. Adoption. Who where does it speak of adoption in the Bible? In Galatians. The, the so-called Gentiles. Jew nor Greek. And it says Neither we're adopted. Jew nor Greek. So that's talking about those Israelites who were scattered among the nations. No, no, no. Greek meant everybody other than the Israelites. It said adopted. Read it again. It said it adopted says, right there. Pertain the adoption? The, to, to, to Israel pertains the adoption. And the, glory, the, the adoption pertains to Israel. But I'm not arguing that. I agree with that. Listen. You guys just have this narrow blind. Is there, is there, is there, is there, no, 